be happier when we get a stone. Did I show you the brochure? No. Did he say anything? About me? He was upset. I can't pretend he wasn't. It's hard, Karen, for people like me and your dad. As old as you are, you were still his little girl. And it just made him sad, I suppose. You want things for your kids. Never had a chance to talk to him. I wanted to try to make him understand. I just remember him walking out the door, refusing to look at me. And then the last time I saw him, oh dear, maybe Jack was right. Now don't start that again. Jack was just upset. Your dad had a bad heart. I know, but I, I keep thinking if maybe I hadn't have said anything. That had nothing to do with it. You didn't kill him, Karen. He had a bad heart. All right, listen, don't forget, just use the story as a springboard. Think about your own experiences that you've had that have been scary and how you reacted and all that. Okay? All right, time's up. Let's have your chairs up here. Quietly now. Get your arm. Cutler, Barrett, can you stop being so silly? You're just wasting everybody's time now. Come on. Right. Um, now, let's see. Let's have Emily's group first. Oh, no, me. Come on, you can set the standard. What's that over there? Hang on a second. Barrett, bring me whatever it is you're showing Cutler. What, miss? Now. Can't wait to find out what's so fascinating it's going to get you a detention. Whatever that is that's behind your back. Your bedroom's lilac. Just give it to me. Piss off, you dyke! Come on, Barrett, please. Don't touch me, you lazy! No, you, you should have gone to the head straight away. I know, I know I should have. I just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. If you'd reported him in the first place, then maybe it wouldn't have gone this far. You pushing him would... I didn't push him, I didn't! Oh, I don't know, I mean, I might, I, I don't know, I might have pushed him, I, I just, oh. Everything happens so quickly and... Oh, Christ, what do you think is going to happen, Chris? Am I going to lose my job? Yeah, I won't come to that. <laughs> You might make a bit of an effort. Hey, give us a kiss. Oh! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, how are you? Well, when did you get back? A week ago. Well, how was it? Yeah, hot. <laughs> Two years is too long, though. You look terrific. Thanks. So are you. <laughs> oh, sorry, um, Karen, Sarah, Sarah, Karen. Hi, Karen. So? I didn't know Sarah was going to be there. Anyway, even if I had, we were just catching up. She's an old friend. A bit more than an old friend. Yes, OK. But if you hadn't been there, I'd have told you I'd seen her. Well, why wouldn't I? I think of one good reason. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Look, it's ridiculous. Barrett's father is claiming assault. 
So I'm forced to follow official procedure. Unfortunately, that dictates I inform the police. But that's ridiculous. Well, one thing I would say, Karen, I could have defended you more forcefully to Mr. Barrett had I known about the incident when he came to see me. So, the police will make their inquiries and decide whether or not to initiate a criminal prosecution. How long will that take? Well, difficult to say. These things can take time. Meanwhile, pending the outcome of a disciplinary hearing, I'm afraid you're suspended. <laughs>